Okay, so dear class 10 students, we'll start with our uh, new chapter today, that is chapter 4, carbon and its compound. Okay, so this is also one of the longest chapter, but this is very important. And then uh, we'll start like from the scratch here. So here, carbon, as you all know that carbon, the carbon, the electronic configuration, the electronic configuration for carbon is 2, 4, right? This is the electronic configuration. So this is, in the K shell, we have this one, and in the L shell, we have this one, 4. Clear? Now, uh, carbon, since it has a 4 valence electron, okay, when I say valence, that means the outermost shell, okay? Valence means, the, uh, that valence shell means the outermost shell, clear? Outermost shell. Outermost shell. Now, like uh, in the st structure of atoms, we have four shell, right? So now this is the electronic configuration for carbon two, four. So here, which one is the outermost? So this four is the outermost. So now the outermost shell uh, here it is four, but to complete the goal, okay, to complete the goal, it should be eight, okay, and this is known as octet. Octet. To complete a, a, a goal, that is whenever they form a bond, okay? Whenever they form a bond, they have to complete this one. They have to fulfill this one. Clear? So now, uh, carbon, for carbon, it forms a covalent bond. Clear? Covalent bond. That means a bond formed by sharing of electron. Car carbon forms a covalent bond. And this bo a covalent bond means bond formed by sharing of electron sharing of electron now see we have studied about this in the uh, metals and non-metals chapter right so ionic bond okay ionic bond means a bond formed by transfer of electron transfer of electron ionic bond means transfer of bond formed by transfer of electron so you have to remember that for carbon uh, carbon only covalent bond take place clear for and carbon this is why we are studying carbon in general in this chapter because carbon uh, it forms many compounds okay see carbon dioxide methane everything like so carbon forms many many compound clear now but whatever compound it is from let's say co2 or let's say ch4 or let's say c2h6 in every bond okay in every bond it will be co it will be it will it will have a covalent bond okay because carbon will form only covalent bond not an ionic bond because they don't have a charge okay they don't have a charge, so the transfer of electron does not take place. So we will say that uh, covalent bond, okay, or we'll say that carbon is a bad conductor of electricity. Clear? It is a bad conductor of electricity. But ionic bond is a good conductor of electricity since they have that plus charge and the minus charge. The metals, they have plus charge. Non-metals, they have minus charge. So ionic bond, they have, uh, they are a good conductor of electricity. Clear? Okay, so now uh, further we'll study uh, hydrocarbon and different types of hydrocarbon. Clear? Okay, so students, hydrocarbon means compound containing only hydrogen and carbon. Clear? Only hydrogen and carbon. And you might be thinking it's just only hydrogen and carbon, but we have many compounds, okay? We have many compounds. So now, this hydrocarbon is further divided into two types, that is, saturated hydrocarbon, saturated hydrocarbon, saturated hydrocarbon, and then, unsaturated hydrocarbon. Clear. 
So what is this saturated hydrocarbon? Saturated hydrocarbon means those hydrocarbons which have only single bond. Clear? Which have only single bond. Single bond. Clear? Single bond. Now, unsaturated hydrocarbon means uh, those hydrocarbon, okay, which have two which have a double bond or triple bond okay that means they form a bond okay by this like a uh, true double bond or a triple bond clear so this is unsaturated hydrocarbon and this is saturated hydrocarbon so now under saturated hydrocarbon the example will be alkane okay alkane Alkane means those hydrocarbon having only single bond. Clear? Alkane means those hydrocarbon that have only a single bond. And now, here unsaturated hydrocarbon, I have given either double bond or triple bond, right? So now, for this example would be alkene, okay? Alkene. So when I say alkene, that means... Uh, those hydrocarbon having a double bond clear double bond double bond clear double bond and then triple bond means uh and the other example would be alkyne okay alkyne so this alkyne alkyne means having triple bond triple Bond. Those hydrocarbon having a triple bond. This is alkyne. Clear. So now you have to know all this. Now alkene single bond, alkene double bond, and then alkyne means triple bond. And these are all hydrocarbon. Okay. We have only carbon and hydrogen. There is no other elements. Clear. So we will study about alkene now. Clear? Alkene. So students, like I have said, alkene means those hydrocarbon that have a single bond, right? So now you have to remember this formula, okay, dear students? That is CnH2n plus 2. Clear? CnH2n plus 2. You have to remember that one. So now this one. When we'll apply the formula. Now when n is 1, okay? That means that is meat. Okay. When N is 1 means that is meat. Okay. That is meat. Meat. Now applying this formula. Okay. C1. Right. Because now we are uh, uh, putting N as a 1. Now H here we have 2 into 1 plus 2. Right. Because we are using this N as 1. Now here we will get. 2 plus 2, 4, right? So we have CH4. And if single bond, single bond means the, the ending, okay? Here the prefix and suffix. Now here the ending would be C. Since alkene, we are ending with A, N, E, right? So now here we'll write A, N, E. So A, N, E means only a single bond, clear? That's why, see, we use methane, clear? Meat, N, because it is alkene. Because it is a single bond. Clear? Now we'll, we'll see the structure as well. well. I'll show you the electron dot structure as well as the covalent bonding. But now this is just an example that now whatever if it is an alkene, then the ending will always, the sound will be N. Okay? Now the same goes for this double bond, alkene. Now in that case, we'll have ethene. Okay? Propyne. For, uh, for this alkyne, we'll have ethyne, okay, propyne. So the ending, you have to pay attention there, clear? Now, this is not very difficult. We just have to fo follow this formula and we'll get. Now, meat means one, right? Meat means one. So it means E-T-H. E-T-H means two, okay? 
ETH means 2. Now, applying the formula, we can also get ethane. Okay, ethane. Now, I told you that it means 2, right? So now we can write this one, N is 2. Clear? And now here, 2 into 2, 4 plus 2, right? So now, C2H6 means, that is, 2 carbon means that is it, okay? 2 carbon means that is it, so we have ethane. Clear? 2 carbon means that is it, and here we have ethane. Now, these are all single bond. Now, so we'll see the structure. Okay, we'll see the structure. So, first structure that we'll see would be electron dot structure. Okay, electron dot structure. So, now let's see for methane. Clear? Let's see for methane. Now, we know that methane has only single bond, right? methane. So now we have one carbon, clear. And then carbon, uh, we have four valence electron, right? Four valence, we have carbon, we have four valence electron. And then only the valence electron take parts in bonding, okay? Only this four valence electron takes part in bonding. Clear? This is for general, only the valence electron take parts in bonding, in chemical bonding. So now you have, you have to remember that for carbon, uh, it is, it, uh, it has, since it has like four valence electron, it is also known as tetravalent, okay, four means tetra. So now we have carbon and carbon has four valence electron, right? So see, the structure says electron dot, right? Dot. So since carbon has four valence electron, we are representing it like this. Clear? And then, how many hydrogen we have? We have four hydrogen, right? So now, hydrogen, let's write, put here. Okay. Now, hydrogen, it has only one, one valence electron, right? Hydro hydrogen, it has only one valence electron. So see, I'll write like this for all the hydrogen, for all the hydrogen, clear, for all the hydrogen. So now let's apply the rule here, clear. Now I told you this carbon, carbon and all the other elements, they have to complete the goal that is eight, right, eight. Uh, to com and then for hydrogen, the goal is duplet, okay. You have to, for hydrogen, the goal is two, that is duplet duplet okay for hydrogen they have they need only two so now see let's look at this hydrogen he has only one valence electron right he has only one valence electron but to complete but to complete the goal he needs other electron right so that's why he will share carbon he will share carbon and hydrogen they are going to share okay they share that's why this is known as covalent bonding Clear? So now see. This hydrogen has completed its goal, right students? Okay, now let's see for this hydrogen as well. This hydrogen also needs two to complete the goal. So now this is, this is also completed now. Clear? So now let's see the other hydrogen. What is the goal? The goal is two. Clear. So what this hydrogen are doing is they are sharing one electron from the carbon. Clear. Now this hydrogen, he also took one from the carbon. Clear. So now see, for all the hydrogen, it is completed. But now carbon, actually they have only four, right? They have only four. But since the goal is eight, this carbon now See, they, they, they have shared one, one, one from all the hydrogen. So when we count all together now, it will be eight, right? For carbon, it is eight. So see, now he has taken one from here, two, four. So when we see carbon has also completed the goal. Clear? See, carbon has also now eight electron. So that means octet has been fulfilled. Clear? 
now octet has been fulfilled so this is the electron dot structure clear this is the electron dot structure and what did i say i told you that uh, this is a single bond right so now this one if uh, in exam if they ask you to draw electron dot structure you can draw in this way but if they ask you to draw a covalent bonding then we can just show like this two two electron represent one single bond okay so we can just show clear so this is methane this is the structure of methane okay students so see here two represents one single bond two electron clear so now since we are concerned about this electron now one single bond represents two electron right one single bond represents two electron now when we count it is coming to eight electron right that means the octet has been fulfilled clear now for methane methane is also very useful to all of us right now ch4 this bond has been formed like this true covalent bonding clear there is some bonding okay there is some uh, something that is joining them so that is in this way clear okay now we'll see a uh, structure for ethane okay structure for ethane so now we are done for carbon one that is methane let's see the other one that is carbon two for ethane okay so uh, students we are going to see uh, the structure for ethane okay ethane means that is two carbon right two carbon and then see a and e represents alkane okay this a and e represent alkane so now this means this ethane is also a single bond right so now this is a hydrocarbon having a single bond so now this ethane the formula is c2h6 right and if you're wondering how we got this one we got by applying this formula right so this is the formula for alkane sometimes in exam they ask you just this formula okay for alkane as well okay so students now by applying this one we got this one the, so the structure would be we have two carbon right two carbon and then okay so students see this is the structure of ethane and now if you look carefully here uh, we have all single bond clear we have everything is single bond everything is single bond now let's look for this carbon this carbon he has to complete eight octet right octet that means eight electron so see we have two 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 that means eight octet has been fulfilled let's see for the other one the second carbon here if we look here this for this carbon as well the octet has been fulfilled okay so this is how uh, we draw the structure okay and you can draw the electron dot structure as well it's the same thing like we draw for the uh, methane clear so students i'm sure you are clear with the uh, formula for alkane as well how to draw the electron dot structure for uh, electron dot structure for the alkane family clear now the next uh, next one uh, would be alkene and then following next we'll study about alkyne okay so for today you just take a note of this one and you practice clear and keep this formula in mind we'll continue with the other parts uh, in the other topics in the next class so thank you so much students see you in the next class